Hello, James here. Um, you know, I've been, made two videos about Pastor Dow, right? And uh, I don't know if, you, if some of you have come to my channel, but this woman made this video about two years ago, what was going to happen to Pastor Dow. And I'm going to play a segment. I'm not going to try to play all her video, but I'm going to see what she told, what the Lord revealed to her. And she predicted it. And right now, as we're speaking, people are still coming at him to his day. But she predicted this. Watch. Her name is Deborah. And if it had not been for his spirit teaching me in the wilderness. Now, this is why I had to go to the wilderness. Because where people are at is not a place where they just truly put their 100 in Ohio. They put their 100. That means their trust, their minds, their spirit, their strength. Everything into man, what they see empathy, what they hear empathy, and not into the things that are spiritual. So according for me as a prophetess in the wilderness to be chosen by the Most High God, which he said, if it was so, it would fool his very elect. Okay? Now, where Sister Deborah is going with this is I, Sister Deborah, is going to title this message, Your Time is Up, Pastor Down. That's the worstest thing you want to hear from someone like unto me. I remember about 18, maybe even 20 years ago, when I had to go into places where thousands were located and was led by high power positions. I had to step into that breed because y'all sent me there. And the only reason was to be there inform the CEO, the director, the owner that your time is up. Were their time up? Yes. Here I go, 18, maybe 20 years later, the spirit has brought it back into act. And when he said, I want you to tell them their time is up. When the father said, that your time is up is because he's heard many cries, okay? He's seen you conduct yourself like unto a God. He's seen you find pleasure to be an idol to me. He's seen you try to turn darkness into what is light and light into what is darkness. He's seen she you said try this two to years ago. That you are something that you are not in him. Okay? So, he's saying, this is what the Father is saying to you, Pastor Dow. For so long have you, for so long have you used who he is. He wants me to let you know you never had the name, right? Because the name is a higher. Okay? So, he said you, you didn't have the name, right? But you used what you have used to confound and confuse me, first of all. And you have built your own temple, your own sanctuary, your own uh, heaven here on earth. And you have taught many to be in captivity to your wisdom, to your knowledge, to your understanding. To your way in your flesh, your feelings, your emotions, okay? He wants you to know your wisdom is not his wisdom. Your knowledge is not his knowledge. Your understanding is not his understanding. And furthermore, your spirit is not connected to his spirit, okay? So this is why you can easily communicate and use words that everybody uses in the world. That was two years ago, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is, 2022, uh, 2024. Saying, you bring it into what you call your church, your temple. Okay? You bring it into the whole world, and the whole world praises you while you're drinking. Okay? Okay? And you justify that it's okay as long as you can handle it, or it's not out of order. But God is saying to you, 
can shape the picture and make paint the picture as pretty as you want to paint it. But your time, your time is up. Four years ago, I came to you once before, four years, and told you that your wife was missing just when you. That's why the father said your time is up. You've been among an angel strictly from the king. And you have unrighteously, unjustly treated her like cattle, treated her like trash, treated her as if she's not the angel of God. So he wants me to let you know he placed her there so that you would never ever be able to stand before his throne and proclaim anything because you never saw her there as the light. Ooh, ooh. So, that this happens. for this same reason, you that have happens. had an issue with mother and a greater issue with the first female that you really had feelings for that has turned you down in a way that you still today remember and because you got so many men, you have to sell into them something to build them up. But you got to give them something to build them up with. And the father said he don't like. It's gone too far, Deborah. Speak unto him. His time is up. Because the only way you are going to get these men to feel what you felt toward your mother and you felt toward this woman had, that had denied you as when you were young, when you really had a feeling for her, you brought all these men to your emotions and to your feelings that you have felt throughout your, all your life. Mm -hmm. And I you brought them yep. to your feeling. That's and your like whole it. idea was to capture them in your emotions mm -hmm. and in your years of feeling. Right. 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 Females. Right. Your mother. And this first woman right. that really made you look really bad right. as an individual that really felt he was in love. It was only your emotions and your feelings. And here today, see again, the first woman in your life was mom. And if the first woman you hate, you would have to be hating women today the way that you speak. The most high that says that that comes from an inner place in you that has been rooted since you was a teenager. Mm -hmm. So whomever this young lady is, it had to be when you were young. Mm -hmm. But the first love was your mom. And if that love has wounded you to the point of where you at today, the father said because you allowed those years of your emotions manifests itself to where you're at today. And it brings great joy and pleasure that you bring men into your bosom to fear your emotional your emotional hurt. That's a straight way man. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, that's what's going on over there. Yep. 50, 40 yep. Years ago. She's right. And he said he do not and will not allow it to go any further. He said you're gone too far. The people that walk Did with you, you sit amongst you have the same heart as you. Mm -hmm. Anybody that yep. allow you to entertain them. Right. To interfere with who they are. Right. And the way they think, the right. way they feel, the way they walk, the way they talk. You got several people who have uh, come from among you, but they still of you because they think like you, they, they feel like you feel, they talk like you, talk, right. they act like you, the bar. and they don't see no yep. error. Yep. But yet they have come out of you. That shows me that the great falling away has tampered into your area 
Right. To fulfill the 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 the, the, the words that has been prophesied. Say it, sister. Say it. She tell the truth. You all don't understand. <laughs> the Most High wanted me to let you know when the great falling away took place. Yes. It's already taking place. Right. It's when these medias. It's not so much as when the churches were there. Those people were never there. But it's when this media, these devil platforms comes up and everybody cares nothing about spirit and truth. Right. They only care about leading to people right. to their bosom. Right. And where are they bosom? Right. It's the strivers and lots and praise. Right. So therefore, the most high <laughs> wanted me to let you know, if you think your numbers represent him, if you think for one minute your numbers is full of the spirit, He's saying you are lost and still get lost. Wow. You will not survive. Wow. You will and shall not survive Ooh. that day in which mm. we are in. Okay? Now, you call yourself a pastor. Y'all says he has no problem with you calling yourself a pastor. Everybody in that day will proclaim that they this, that, this, and that. But the reason why he suffered me to come and tell you that your time is up is that's how severe the situation you have walked in. That is how severe the darkness in which you walk in. Okay? You Take the tape, I don't know, a video, a message yesterday or the other day, or I don't know what day it was, but I just saw a clip of it earlier. No, that was last night. Or was that this morning? It was one of them. No, was it last night? But all I know is this morning when the Spirit of the Most High said, Deborah, you got to address him. Now, now I got several others, but I need to address you as the Spirit has led me. Your time is up. Your life will never, ever same after this video. Okay? So I want to let you know. So any and everybody that has followed you and continue to follow you and, and has even branched away from you, they are still yet lost without a cause because I hear them even uh, speaking as you speak. Okay? I didn't see any need to, to, to hear people saying anything all I'm going by is what my Ahaya is sending me to do. Okay? And that is to tell you you've gone as far as the world has allowed you and your time is up. I want to say something to you before you leave. I want to let you know that all that time that you were thinking you was on the right, right path? No. As he built Pharaoh up, just to bring him down. Did not he bring Saul up? I mean, Samuel? Saul the prophet? Yep. 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 <laughs> bring him up. Yep. <laughs> yep. To yep. Yes. Yep. To bring him down. Yep. Yes, ma'am. He brings them up just to bring him down. Wow. He was, he was given the prophet to warn him, okay? And when he was given the prophet of the Most High to warn him, right. what did he do? Sam, right. we're talking about Saul, okay, and Sam. What, what did he do? Huh? What did he do? He was given a position by the Most High God. Mm -hmm. Did not you mm -hmm. know that Saul knew, Saul knew that Elohim had placed him somewhere. Okay? But what happened? Saul wanted to continue walking in the position in which he was placed 
but he was only put there for a moment to be brought down. Don't think that the Most High didn't know he put Saul there for a reason, for a season. He even sent a prophet to speak unto Saul. You see, the true person that was going to end up in that place was David. But Saul was given a prophet to warn him. But did he listen? No. But did the Most High knew, know that he would listen? Yeah, he knew he wasn't going to, Saul wasn't going to obey. He knew that the moment he was placed there, Yah Elohim, Ahaya, Ahaya, his true name, knew that, that he wasn't going to uh, stay in righteousness. Y'all will allow you and stand out of the way and let you build yourself up just for him to bring you down in the midst of everyone you brought yourself up into and you brought yourself up in the midst of. And they are beholding you like unto a God on earth. Not mm -hmm. understanding that you have brought yourself to this level mm -hmm. and you have spoke things, and some might think they even did miracles and signs and wonders. Not understanding that the Most High God allowed you all that time with an angel of His own in the midst. That means you had no respect, Ooh. no regards, Ooh. <laughs> no honor. Ooh. Ooh. And you thought she was just there for you to step on and do as you please. And I love the most high because he always sits around in the bush to see the reaction. And the, the individual has to be spiritual rooted to be able to understand that the ram that's in the bush is a melody. But they can't. Because when they build themselves up to a situation or to a lifestyle when the whole world revolves around them and I'm making this and I'm making this and I'm doing this and I'm doing this. Let me explain something to you, so-called Pastor Dow. The Most High said, don't ever think that your fruit represents his spirit. Okay? The fruits in which you labor for is for your own flesh, okay? The fruit in which you build on, the fruit in which you raise things on, the fruit in which you plant on, has nothing to do with spirit and truth. Exactly. It has to do with what everything has had to do with you, mm -hmm. which is your flesh. Right. It has to do with the pleasure of your flesh. Right. And that's why you needed men to come in on your emotions and your your feelings so that you can cover them up yes as long as all of them believe you right then therefore yeah. your yep. wicked and evil yep. Yep. and now you're speaking things and you're thinking you're doing something successful first of all I want to let you know three years ago the spirit of the most high had already charged me that there is a spirit of harm a people, a me and it is a hateful spirit and he told me Deborah, it even speaks of it in Deuteronomy 28 oh. and it does, it's there it's there when the men says that the women went on welfare and left their children, I mean left made with the men out, did this to the men the father want you to know, good job good job withdrawing the multitude into your great fall into the great falling away along with you. You did an excellent job. And you continue to do an excellent wow. job. But wow. even if you continue, <laughs> I want to let you know the Father has already uh, 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 mentioned to my spirit Woo. that the great falling away Deborah has already taken place. Woo. Hallelujah. He said that to me uh, uh, wow. about it, it, it was nine, 10 months ago. He said Deborah is already taken it took place already. Wow. That means people in here.
him has already fallen away so wow. far it's no coming back sister Deborah used to call it going far out in the in, in the ocean and can't swim back to dry land he said Deborah, that's the great fall away all that time i was teaching it in a parable in which man could understand all the time god is telling me Deborah is going according to my will the way i have taught you you are able to speak that's why he gives me the authority today to say to you your time is up everything you will say after this day you're going to see it and feel it like Saul felt it as that time go on and on that your time is up you know he meaning that he had given you so much time right so much of time right that you just decided that you own time. You own the way to who he stands for, who he is. And you led the multitude that's falling away with you, along with you. So you're not going to just think that you're going to hear this message from the prophets in the wilderness and you're going to turn by on face. You're not. You're going to keep it heavier and heavier, getting more men to feel it. You don't talk about 80% of our men is, or, or, or has been in the closet and out of closet, meaning follow the mission of uh, 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 Solomon Gamar. You, you, you don't understand that that's in uh, Isaiah 3, chapter 3. Okay, you don't understand that Ooh. they hide themselves like a to Solomon. Ooh, she's, you know, she's cut you up. You she's cut you up, Pastor Dow. You want to come in on the end. And she's cut you says up. That the Hebrew men has a hatred smeared on them. Yeah. Beyond control. Yeah. So I have accepted that when he said that. And it had bothered me to the point where I didn't use it to continue my walk with him because anything he says it is I believe I don't listen to people like you and take anything you say and put it in the right context because you have no content that's righteous to place what you say in it okay y'all say you represent everything one looks at one sees you materialistic from from your eyes to your head to the clothing you wear to the billboard that's in the back of you and to everything someone sees and that is wicked and evil and the world said okay so i feel very sad for many who have followed you throughout time for so long thinking that at one time you were really about let me tell you something no one is about spirit and truth and fall from spirit and truth in this day y'all will build them up and restore them as time get closer and closer to the end but for you pastor now you have shown yourself to be an idol god to a people not allowing the people and the men to make righteous decisions that is under spirit and truth to be just in their decisions and to be righteous in their decisions, you chose to manipulate and control their emotions and their feelings because you were wounded as a young person. Mother did nothing to you. It's just where you wanted to be on her breast, you were never brought to her breast that way. That's because of who you are today. You see? So it never was.
are finished. It's over. Another thing I want to address before I get off of here. I want to let you know how deep you have deceived so many. How you have lied and manipulated those who have funds and money. You've been watching the almighty dollar of each individual person, males especially, that you have brought on to your cult. The father suffered me that I can't say cult because it is a place like unto Jim Jones. See, if people don't understand, you can just, you said, be not afraid of he that destroyed the body. Jim Jones destroyed the body of the people, but he also destroyed what? Their spirit that's to walk in righteousness. You see? And that's what you're doing. You're doing a carbon copy of what Jim Jones did. Okay? Yah said, Elohim, Ahayah said, don't be afraid of he that can destroy the body. Jim Jones destroyed the body. Okay? He said, he that destroyed body and spirit is whom you need to be afraid of, which is a higher, a higher. So therefore, what you have done, you are destroying the spirit of men to walk in that which is unrighteous and unjust, that holds no spiritual integrity. No spirit of integrity rests therein. Not one man don't care who says that the individual that's on your uh, in your church form that is righteous. No. See, one thing about it. Anybody that is breathed into anything that you do and have set among you a length of time and have not poured away in righteousness, poured away in just, they therefore has fallen away. From what is spirit and what is truth. See, the great falling away is not a church that's closed down or a church that members just all leave. No, the great falling away is people who fall away from spirit and truth. Spirit and truth is the most high God. It is his spirit that holds truth to what? Righteousness that holds truth to just. You see? The whole truth to Ohio, Ohio, that knowing that that is his true name, they know not anything because they worship you as their God, as their idol, have they chosen thee. Over the one that says, I will be your comforter. I will teach you all things. I will reveal things to you. I will show you things to come. But we decided as flesh in your camp, those in your camp decided, I said we, because there's many a times he allowed me to include myself when I'm speaking to all uh, 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 nations or all uh, uh, the house of Israel or all the world. Oh. I, I, I is spiritual. When they have fallen away from that, they have fallen away. Falling, falling. They already have fallen. That's why it's so easy for them to walk in your idol, you as an idol. It's so easy for them to fall under, no matter the way you're drinking, the way you're talking, the way you're conducting yourself, the way you're building. Building for what? <laughs> Do you not understand where we are at? In that day, building back in the days, they're going to be, in the end of days, they're going to be building, selling, and feasting. It's not that what you have prepared on your food. You have prepared heaven out of your emotions, out of your feelings, out of your wisdom, and out of your knowledge, and out of your understanding, and formed a 
people to make it legit and they have set among you and has fallen away from spirit and truth. Now, he want me to also share that we spoke of Saul and the prophet that he brought before Saul to kind of guide him until he bring David in the mess. My thing is it, he told me to tell you, your time is up. So that doesn't mean I know the great falling away is there. I don't have a hell and hell nor heaven to put anyone in. I speak as the spirit has charged me to speak and has given me the authority to speak these things. But the great falling away, David ended up taking on where Saul was released from. Okay? Okay? So, I say it to you, Pastor Dow, as Ohio, Ohio have said, your time is up. Let's go and show you how far you have been from what is spirit and truth. How far you have been. Walk, talk, talk, sale. Save up to $700 and get a free adjustable base. Mattress firm. Sorry about that. Yeah. She, she said this two years ago. That was two years ago. I didn't even know her video just popped up on the feed line. Her video just popped up.
desensitize him, we know you desensitize over there. All right, let's get back to the 1338 mark. I just wanted you to see that. Let's get back to the 1338 mark. Okay, let's go. Uh, hey, hey, all you husbands, pick up your wives and carry them across the threshold. <laughs> Remember, there used to be a tradition in marriage. You know, it's next day. Yeah, they next day. They used to be a time to make them pick up the water and carry them across the threshold.
No, 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 no. They may have determined it, yet you don't want to put these people together. You spoil your SOB. They didn't get these ladies on their own. They did not get these ladies on their own, and you did not get those ladies, and you took another man's wife. Right. And force. Right. You can't talk about the worldly pastors when you want yourself. Exactly. So y'all don't pay attention to all that little finer things that be going on, man. I ain't marrying nobody. Yes, sir. I'm glad to do these little ceremonies for the virgins because you know we don't do no ceremonies for people like virgins. Oh, now you lie. Now you lie. Because Ringo showed the receipts of Elder Kabar supposedly had virgin women and then he got one of the women who was not a virgin He's and you have done the ceremony, sir. Exactly. Dirty Dawa, you lying SOB. Let's rewind that with his lying self. You ever notice when I'm doing the ceremony, we just do it for a witness for everybody. I say, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Lee. You don't ever hear me. I don't pronounce them no man and wife. He the one that determines that. So y'all don't pay attention to all that little finer things that be going on, man. I ain't marrying nobody. Yes, sir. That's good. I'm glad to do these little ceremonies for the virgins because you know we don't do no ceremonies for people like virgins. We That's a cat. That's a cat. That's a cat because you're sharing each other's women or somewhere in that set. You're lying. You're lying. Let's see what the likes is at. Look, we got 63 people watching. I'm going to keep the video at pause until we get to 50 likes right now. We got to get to 50 likes right now for me to continue this video. I'm watching this video just like you for the first time. The most high is moving through me, moving through Ringo, moving through Nupi, and anybody else that's playing out this truth. So, you're not showing respect until you like the video. We need to get to 50 likes right now. Right now, I'm gonna keep it at pause. You think I'm kidding? I got all day. I got all day. So you wanna play this game? Then we can play this game. I will switch it over to members only. I will switch it over to members only, and y'all could drop off because I'm not gonna to tolerate the disrespect. I allowed y'all to come in the platform because I want y'all to participate. You're not gonna disrespect me with the likes. You're not gonna disrespect me with the lights being low. So let's get the lights up to 50. Meanwhile, I can look at my phone, see what people saying, until we get to 50 lights. Let's go to New Breed. Let's see what New Breed said. I spent 25 years researching men living to 110 or 120. I discovered one food. We'll see what Newbury said. This woman was right. This woman said that two years ago, and look what's happening. Watch this. This is the man, he, he, he took his wife. A feast came up. Me and my wife were getting into it because we found out this lady that I was talking to was getting a divorce from her husband. Okay? I didn't know this. I had no idea until he, they told us. Okay, so they were going over stuff. Well, this lady in Dow was going up to the tabernacle and having meetings. Well, they were bringing my wife. Dirty Mac and Dow. Man, oh man, it is over for straightway. Peace and blessings to the chat. We have a plethora of sources to go to. 
We're talking about straightway ministries. It's looking like a real cesspool over there, y'all. Now, for those who don't understand what uh, dirty macking is, dirty macking is when you basically are pretty much pushing up on somebody else's wife. And you're pretty much slandering, throwing another brother under the bus. You're doing whatever you can do to try to get with that man's wife. That's what's going on here. And there's a lot of evidence to back up these claims. Now, there's been a lot of accusations going out on Charles Dow of Straight Wave Ministries as of late. As some of you all know, I used to promote this guy. Um, avid, a heavy supporter. And I would promote him on my channel quite often. And uh, in likes of the Elder Rufus, Pastor Rufus situation where there was a great divide and uh, Pastor Dow pretty much got rid of his right hand man second in command in straightway a whole lot of things came out to the forefront now mind you it wasn't a situation of Pastor Rufus coming out here airing out a bunch of dirty laundry no what ended up happening is brothers in truth such as Ringo TV Reactions and myself seeing the fault in Dow and seeing that it wasn't a one way issue it was a it was a obviously a pattern going on in straight way and Dow seemed to have a hardened heart because he wanted to cast his brother out of the community giving him 30 days after serving underneath Dow for I mean 14 years so you know after that we seen that he had a hardened heart um, he didn't take any type of responsibility for anything that went wrong um, it seemed that it was over some type of argument Pastor Dow seemed, felt disrespected and so he just pretty much um, quote unquote marked the man and you know I don't know why he's talking about marking somebody and all his members are talking about he marked Rufus the last time I heard about a man marking someone was the most high he marked he marked uh, Cain when he killed his brother Abel. So, you know, Pastor Dow's not the most high, but it seems like those over there at Straightway, um, it seems like he's playing a lot of military mind games with y'all. He has a whole lot of control over y'all. Um, the men over there are giving up their paychecks. We found that out by Pastor Dow's own admission. You know, he was trying to put out a video to do some sort of damage control, and it really fired back at him. Right. Uh, because you know he put that information that the men of straightway were giving their whole checks which you know that may be a reason why the women are more so leaning towards Dow because he's acting as the apex alpha male and these men clearly um, you know have the blinders on but brothers such as this brother on your screen he was very bold and given his um testimony to what took place and Pastor Dow was in his woman's, his wife's ear along with one of his current wives meaning Pastor Dow's current wife used to belong to another brother that he also dirty macked against and we're going to bring out all the evidence just stay tuned man stay tuned well something just in my spirit was getting like fed up over it after time and I'm like S this, this don't feel right something just don't feel right to me and I, so I told her I don't want you a part of that it's not our business I want you to stay out of it so that's not what happened she's I don't know how much it happened that I know of but I know it happened a few times she started talking to Dal my wife behind my back that's a no no right there she started talking to Dow behind this brother's back here. And if y'all want this brother's full testimony, go to my community section. I shared this a couple days ago. This testimony is very revealing. So check it out. Now, Dow was going and talking to another man's wife behind his back. We're talking about all hours of the night as you watch this testimony. 
You know, Dow got caught 11, 30, 12 at night with this man's wife creeping from out the woods. I mean, now Dow responded to all this without responding, meaning he didn't answer to any of the allegations, which makes the situation look worse. You know, he's not acknowledging anything that he's being accused of. Instead, he's trying to demonize the public for being inquired minds. And um, it's quite interesting. But, fellas, you got to look out for these guys out here who got some type of title and got some type of position feeling like they some type of pastor. It be the pastors who be creeping and sneaking. They feel like they got dominion. And and if you underneath that man and not under Christ, if you following that man, you know, they're gonna find a way to get what's yours. Whether it's getting in your pockets, your wife, children, and all of it, man. It's a lot coming out on Straightway Ministries and it's, it's really not a laughing matter. It's real, it's real sick stuff going on, but let's go. I don't know if Dow influenced this or what. What was going on was they were convincing my wife that I wanted this lady because I asked her that question. Mind you. So now that's that's the art of dirty macking. That's the dark art of dirty macking. So this brother asked Pastor Dow's current wife, Sister Nellie. What did she think about polygyny? Now, mind you, at the time she was married. And Pastor Dow went behind this man's back and tried to convince this woman that he wanted her. That's prime dirty macking right there. When the whole time Pastor Dow wanted her, and we know that because he ended up taking her. She is now his wife and she was married at the time so she was pre- so pretty much past the doubt was projecting against this brother the whole time and he wanted that woman yo that's sad bro so here we have a situation where this brother's wife was caught up in the mix being polluted being poisoned by past the doubt we ain't even gonna call him Pastor Dow. We gonna call him Dirty Mac and Dow. Out here manipulating these women behind their husbands' back. Real dirty stuff. Real shady stuff. Nasty work out here, man. I asked four other women the same question. Four. And this lady's married. So was I. Hmm. I wanted her. Now, fellas, it ain't nothing worse than a dirty Mac, bro. How many of you brothers ever experienced somebody who dirty mac against you? Mm. By sure ones in the chat, all you brothers watching, how many of you all have ever been around a situation where somebody just straight up dirty mac? Mm. Mm. I'm talking about you might have been interested in shorty. And I mean, see, brothers, brothers know what, what, what this is, man. Right. I mean that's a sad thing man when that happens you know a brother don't have no real game he don't have no real no finesse he don't know how to speak to a woman he gotta go after a woman that belongs to somebody else cause that's the only way he really know how to get women he only can get women by destroying the next man right it's a covet to his spirit right he want what the next man got. Right. And the only way he know about getting it is the fame and destroying that man's character. That's the dark art of dirty macking, bro. Right. Right, New Bree. You're right. That that's a sign of a weak man right there. Right. Right. Shalom, shalom. I see my brother Woodrow in the building. What's going on with your family? Yeah, man, but that's that's a weak move right there. That dirty mac and stuff, man, that's that's a no no. Right. And that's what, that's what Pastor Dow has a history of. And we're going to go through all of the evidence. He has a lot of evidence backing up the fact that he a dirty man. 
I'm going to tell you, a dirty Mac is a wizard, man. That's a wizard. Pastor Dow is a warlock. I have no doubt about that. He's prideful. He's arrogant. He's boastful. He's puffed up. He's unrepentant. And most of all, he's a dirty Mac, bro. And that's why, I mean, really, he should be real happy he's up in the community, secluded, and he got all those men around him insulating him and puffing him up. Because if he was to do this out in the world, like out in the city, see, people like Pastor Dow need to be out in the city for a minute. Because I can promise you, that type of behavior, that dirty Mac and stuff, if you're doing that in the cities, Pastor Dow, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. Dirty Macs don't make it. That's true. Peep this, man. She's a married woman. How could I want that woman? She's already taken by another man. Pastor Dow wanted her the whole time. And that's why he has her now. And I'm going to show you the smear campaign he put out against uh, that woman's husband at the time. Where this man turned the daughter and the wife against that man, Eric Gonzalez. We're going to get to it. That makes no sense to me. Or the whole situation. <laughs> so, mind you, no one ever came to me over this. Ever. One time. Never. So. So, mind you, all these accusations going on against Brother Jamie. This is Brother Jamie right here. Salute to Brother Jamie. All of the accusations that went against this brother was, was happening behind his back, y'all. Right. right. Nothing was said to this man's face. None of the allegations, accusations, they just went through a whole smear campaign. And I say they, but it's really Sister Nelly, which is Pastor Dow's current wife, and his ex-wife. They were all talking to, they were both talking to Dow behind this man's back and behind the other brother's back and literally Dow was just dirty macking on these women. Just straight, straight cowardly behavior. Cowardly behavior, pathetic behavior, foul behavior. And I'm going to tell you right now, within the Israelite community, adultery, that's a very serious charge right there. Very serious charge right there. And we're going to go in tonight, man. I'm going in on this hypocrite known as Pastor Dow. This demon must be exposed, bro. Real talk. There was a feast day going on. And um, me and my old lady, me and my wife got into it. And um, we were supposed to be in the tents. My wife left. She was gone for a while. So I went back to the trailer to see if she was there. So I sat there and waited and waited and waited and waited for a while. All of a sudden, she sews up with Dollar. Just her and Dow. All of a sudden, she shows up with Dow. Just her and Dow. What? In the middle of the night? Dow, you're not going to respond to that? You're not going to let the people know what, what was you doing with that man's wife in the middle of the night? Wow. Hmm? I was confused. Like, what the hell? <laughs> this is like 11, 12 at night. Yeah. 11, 12 at night. And see, this is what these pastors do. They try to take them to the tabernacle. They claim it's some kind of meeting. We holding a meeting in a tabernacle. Oh, marriage counseling. I was just count I was counseling your wife. Hold on, so you talking about me and my wife's problems behind our back? So hold on, why why I'm not there? Yeah, that man is diabolical. Dow was diabolical for that. So you having meetings at 11, 30, 12 at night with this man's wife? That's crazy, bro. <laughs> and and he just didn't really say, he goes, oh, I, I, I'm just going to go to bed. Because he, he just going to go to bed now. Wow. 
you could tell I was I was a little upset. Like, what the hell is going on here? Yeah. Like, rightfully uh, so. So the next morning, so it, actually, me and my lady, or me and my wife, we started getting in an argument that night over you know that and like what's going on, like you know. That's because let's just call it like it is. Let's call it what it is. All respect to brother Jamie, and I'm pretty sure he knows what was going on. Uh, because he's a man we as men we just know we know how it goes you know at that point in time um she had been compromised and um it's sad to say but you know that's what it is and that's why these issues start to happen within the household and this is why as men we can't have no other man reigning over us um I'm going to start right there. You can um, go to New Breed because my video, this is about an hour long. I didn't want to make this really long. But now you see what the first video was, was leaked to. This is the following way, what, what the lady was talking about. And now that it's being exposed, now I had to show you his personality on the second video. But you go to New Breed's channel, shout out to New Breed and the, um, and the sister Deborah and the other brother. I uh, forgot his, his video channel, but... Uh, uh, yeah, Pastor Dow, you need to repent and step down and repent. Um, the judgment is, is, is the open, you open the door on judgment on, on your household by doing this. You don't even, you don't even know it. It's coming. And now, now that woman said that two years ago. Look we are where we at today and all this stuff is coming out. All this stuff is coming out. Now it's all over the YouTube feed. Different individuals coming out, exposing this. And he's trying he's trying to clean himself up, make it sound like he's a Christ like being persecuted. He had the nerve to put himself on a level of you would never you're not even near to the apostles, the prophets, or those people of the Bible. Don't even put yourself, let alone on the one Yeshua Mashiach. Do not put yourself on his level. No. He he wouldn't have been in no mess like that. So you, you know you I'm being persecuted, but yet you starting you start stuff in your camp. Then not only you start stuff, you start challenging people who other people's ministries who had no don't didn't know who you were and talking about come debate me, come debate me like you some locker room jock. You know you're not even spiritually matured. To teach, teach to be a pastor, you're not even, and you act, you know, you act like a handkerchief head Negro. You got black women uh, that you put in the, that four black women you did in that video putting on. It's bad to do, do that to any women, but you do that to the black woman that 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 birth you, that that symbolizes you. You a disgrace as a black man. You a disgrace as a pastor. You a disgrace. You a disgrace as a human being. The way you acted. And then you get on the hair, and he showed it later in the video. He denied, denying it, and all this false accusation. You've been building up a videotape, and people have just been taking note. You like these few of these individuals, like Umar Johnson. You want to sit back and cl claim a tape, but but you you're so smart, but you're actually dumb because people are actually kept record of what you've done, and they ain't sit back and said not a word until this this accusation happened. You did this on your own. You you opened up the door. You was attacking other people's ministry. Now the Most High God exposing you, the real Most High God through His Son Yeshua Mashiach, and, and the Spirit is, is is showing who you really are, and is revealing it. And and what you're doing to these people, the the men and women, at straight way. You're gonna be held in judgment. It's coming to your household. I'm telling you. Sooner or later, it's coming. And all this, you you think you can, you think you your own Lord, your own God. You are gonna find a real quick like other people have this, this recently on this YouTube streets. They're gonna call yourself the Messiah. That you got you the next thing, to, like like you the next thing next to Christ. You about to find out, sir. You about to find out real quick what's what's gonna happen to you. You just keep it up. It's coming. That judgment is coming. You open up the door. You have broke covenants with people and spent mischief among among those people, the, the men that try to honor you in their own way. 
you're not a man of honor. Like I said, you're not a man of honor. You're a man of foolishness and strife. And now you're going to be taken down. And most high God, and he's he's been warning you, warning you. Now judgment's coming to your household. And those who stand in agreement with them, if I was some people, I'd get up out of straight with ministries because the judgment is already. Once God let, allows something like this to be exposed over the world wide web, he has a warning. Second thing, start, things start happening. Telling you, the, and, unless the, the one woman that you finished watching her video, she tells you it's going to happen. So, hey, I'm just a little small, real small YouTuber, a content creator over here. But hey, I I just definitely, but you, but I have sat back in cloud like most people and watched you over the years, how you manipulate people and how you manipulate the scriptures. It was not of God. Then you, then you insult men who was trying to teach their what God laid in their spirit to teach what what they supposed to be taught, and you so-called belittle them in their families, their wives and their families to upgrade yourself. Like I said, and, and God, that's that strife. That's not the Lord was not even in that. You are going to pay the price for what you do, what you're doing. You can't, and then you deny. Later on in New Breeze video, really, he, he's going to show you how he denied, and he's going to put himself like he's the victim. No false accusation. That's why he's putting it up on you and getting people to try to hear his side story. But not every everybody wrong, but but they got a whole video catalog of him doing this since day one. And and New and Ringo TV, he he he, he already exposed him, and there's other people that expose him too. There's other people that try to tell people. That, but no one didn't listen. But now it's coming back to him. And the only reason why I'm making up it because you put the most high name in it. Then you got like, and it, it's this, and then you doing unrighteousness. And I'm not a Hebrew or whatever. I'm just a believer in Christ. But even, even if I'm a believer in Yeshua Mashiach. Then that's who I am. And even, even no matter if, if you attack the Christians, think about this. And even even though some Christians don't have the revelation of what some Israelite do, but what but do you but do you, do you remember the story about when when Paul was once Saul and he was persecuting the Christians? What did, what did at the time Yeshua basically Jesus said to him? Why have you persecuted me? Why are you persecuting my people? That's what Jesus said. And 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 Paul, who was a Hebrew, which to take it had a have Israelite. So you persecuting Christians. And maybe they don't have the whole revelation. Some are is slowly coming in to the revelation. But y'all are so busy ready this this this. It takes the Holy Spirit to reveal it to the to the Christian. Not like to anybody else. And you, you, you guys have, some of you guys have walked before, and you've done more damage than you have done anything. It takes God, God to take, show an individual what is truth, even when they're Christian, so they can properly celebrate him. But you're not even giving people time. And, you, you, and you're going to be held responsible for the falling away. Like she said, and if you did, you would have patience with people. But yeah, he started this mess with, with with people. Now he's going to act like he's the victim. You're not a victim. You start you, you start coming at different. You wasn't even a gentleman about it. You act like a, a, act like a 19, 18, 19 year old. You a 60 something year old, almost near 60 something years old. You act like you 19, 20 years old. Like you, a jock talk about locker room jock strap stuff. That's basically what it is. And how can anybody look up to you? That's what it comes down to. It shows that where your lack of image, like you haven't matured as as a white and want to call yourself an elder, but yet you, you, you act like a young 19, 20 year old or high school. That's what your mentality is by talk, attacking these other ministries. I just thought I'd tell you that. I I'm, I'm probably won't get views on it, but this that's what you are. You, you, you're still, you haven't grown. 
you sound like people think that you grown, but you haven't grown. And and he and if I was was like the others, you should step down from what you're doing because you're really putting out the tallying up against you. And like I said, whatever you record out of your mouth is being recorded in heaven. And and, and like the lady said, I believe you had an angel in your midst. I believe that. And that that was strike number one. What who knows what the Most High God doing next? He's giving you warning before that's it. When the judgment is straightway, then people gonna see what's what's really up. Because you guys don't understand, she violated and broke secrecy, broke five six commandments, and now the Most High God is gonna contend with them. Watch what I'm telling you. When you break the commandments, I'm not a prophet. I'm not like these other people. But you can see the writing on the wall. Look at what happened in the Bible. When people brought strife among the ancient Israelites. What did the Most High God do? He did, He dealt with them. He, he, he got rid of them. He, he, he punished them, some of them. And that's what they're going... And if they, they get away with it, they're going to see something of a punishment from him. It may not be extreme like they in the Bible, but it's going to be something to think about. If I was them, somebody need to pray for, for them that they intercede for them. Because they in a whole world of trouble. Especially pass it down. Alright then, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to sound too preachy with this, but hey. You can go see the rest of his channel. I just took a snippet of each person's part just to show you. It, it, it Really, it comes back to him. And he won't take no accountability as a leader. If you're going to teach something and say yourself a leader, a shepherd over people, a leader, then, you, then you're going to have to stand before God. Because if you cost me and those souls to go into hell, you're especially going to go, go right with them, Pastor Dow. If you don't stop this nonsense and, and really get and, and stand before the face of God. And let me say this before I go. This is what people need to do. You, you men and women in straightway, and anybody from straightway, you need to get one of these. You need to get one of these, and this is what you need to do. Stop listening, pass it down, and this is this. I'm telling you what I'm telling myself, and do this. You need to do this. You need this is what you need to do, and seek, seek, and, and wait till Jesus tap you, Yeshua, or the Holy Spirit tap you on the shoulder, and that's where you need to go. If you Israelite. That's this is this is it. You need you need both men and women. I wanted to get that in. Seek his face under your tent. That's the real tabernacle. Don't follow men. Seek get up under your tent and, and do this. And see and ask, is Dallas is is it who's telling the truth? And and wait. Until the Most High God answer you up under your tabernacle. All right, then, ladies and gentlemen, this is the truth. You get up under this and seek Him for yourself. That's they, you get revelation of what's going on and what the Most High going to do for you, your family, your household as men and women of God. That's who it comes down to. That's that that's that's it. So that hey, that's that's the message right there. You want to keep following a fool, you go you gonna end up in a fool's place. But if you, if you get get right with the, if you want to keep the truth from God, get up on it. That especially if you'll follow a, a straight way. All right then, ladies and gentlemen. So this is this is advice. Take it or leave it, because that's the only way. You're going to find it for yourself. So, j just give you food for thought. All right, then. You guys be blessed. Next time, 
and seek the Father's face on Radio.